So the club rio is to be taken with a certain degree of jest, a certain light-heartedness. Why does the architecture always have to be the architecture of sameness? Why can't architecture be something about 10 different ideas, all explosive, all very different, all fun, but just happy to be in that same space? It's a building that sits in 200 acres of land, which is just huge mass housing. And it's that one building that has the opportunity to be something else. The veranda is seen as a tribute to the railway station in its architecture itself. It's got this tall roof, it's got this metal work. The floors are done with, uh, you know, the stencils that tell the story of the Indian railway over a period of time. It's very cozy, it's a very warm space and it's a space that a lot of people like to just go and spend. I mean, the windows are all old style wooden windows with nice louvers. The way that you walk up the staircase and you really see books stacked up on both sides. Wonderful, I mean, just that space is quite magical. So a lot of that is Samira's work and she's done this quite beautifully. For me, you know, it, it was a bit of personal humour that I've always found that Parsis always find the best places to live. And really, this building finds the best, best place in the club. The way that they would do the ornamentation on it, and the way that they would do the columns and the pilasters on the columns, and the swirls and the curls that would happen in the frieze around it. Or the flooring, which is this very beautiful terrazzo floor, or just the colours that they would use, which would essentially be white. If you look at the theatre, it sort of refers to this old theatre district in Bombay and it sort of has this facade which is curved on the side. Even the letter, the methods of the letter are kind of reminiscent of that idea. And then you pay tribute to the films you like. And inside the, the, the theatre itself is really something that Samira has done. And for her, it was more about watching films wrapped up in blankets, cuddling up. So the entire interior of the theatre has been done with these quilts. When they don't want you to stick uh, bills up whatever, posters on the wall. They do this plaster with this little piece, piece, pieces of stone, very carefully done. It's stunningly beautiful plaster, but it pays tribute to that kind of uh, part of Bombay. So Samira ob obviously loves to take a space and at some level deconstruct that space and to create a space within a space. I think just by doing that one staircase that goes up and a space below, she's added this huge dimension. It's quite beautiful. If you look at the plot and you look at all the spaces and landscape, they're all usable landscapes. This is not a project where the landscape is done for it to look pretty. Every square inch is actually for somebody. So it's really a medley of chaos done with a very strict control, done with a very disciplined sort of mind. It's in that sense that this whole sense of assemblage of many characters come together. 